12,280 pounds. The big, beautiful 3120 rear living, full-time RV warranted, hot, cold, camp rated Montana triple slide here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you're a regular viewer, you know this is actually Mr. Halet's preferred floor plan. Sometimes we'll bring in an all super loaded up legacy. This is what I call a more standard series, although you can see we did still apply the slide awnings here. Sometimes we do that, sometimes we don't. Just remember that along the way, what you see here in this video could vary slightly from what we have on hand. So always double check our photos and call our team to make sure we have the right Montana for you. And if we don't, buddy, we can get it, no sweat. And I tell you, I am never, I am never disappointed when I get into a Montana. They, they never fail to amaze me. And I see that from the RV delivery drivers too, the one that dropped this off. I'm, man, that's a nice one. Like, you know, these are people like me that see RVs all day, every day. And they, you know, they appreciate what we were looking at. Quick housekeeping though, we are standing in a 3120 currently. That gives you that 18 cubic foot two-way refrigerator, gas and electric. So uh, it can offer excellent, you know, boondock capability, um, auto backup in the event of power loss. It's 18 cubic foot, so it's huge, like a residential fridge. But it gives you that backup capability. What's cool in Montana, it doesn't cost you one red cent more. Um, it's one of the reasons we like doing them here at Halo RV. They, especially with this being more of a traveler's model, that fridge is really designed where it can handle like frequent road shocks and jolts and jumps and bumps so uh it, it feels like it's the best fit for this model the 3121 would just be residential fridge um up top here i want to just start from the top down because man i got a lot to cover you will find uh another of these in the bathroom but those rain sensory max air vent fans to help keep the air moving uh those are handy if you know even if you're not cooking just to move things around you see there's a little white bump up there uh kind of near the wall that is the uh, location where you could install a, wi uh, a WineGuard Connect system, which is basically like this version of Wi-Fi Ranger. It's, it's a router, LTE access point, etc. Um, and there's indirect lighting all over the place. Like you see the, the overhead crown molding, I call it like runway lighting. There's more lighting, indirect lighting just above that ceiling fixture. There's indirect lighting um, below the countertop lines and inset into the uh, island itself. And... It looks awesome during the day. I mean, it's very visibly pleasing, but at night, it's actually super useful so you can see what you're doing in here without turning on all the lights and getting blinded by the lights. <laughs> Speaking of which, windows. Lots of light comes in through windows. People like windows. Kind of like, you know, what everybody likes, parfaits. Anyway, a little Shrek reference for you. But if we take all these open and, and take a look here, you can see that you've got amazing light and visibility airflow coming off of all of these windows and you might have noticed how all of the windows um have day night shades on them day night roller blackout shades so kind of like now if you really just want to blot out the sun if it's a hot day you're keeping the sunshine out if you want maximum privacy this is an ideal brand for things like that now i don't have it pulled out currently but that tv is on a double swing arm pivot so if you want to make it face back toward the little conversation sofa back there, you can do that. You can make it, obviously it faces directly toward the theater seat right now, so we enjoy ourselves a No Neck Wrecker Entertainment Center. Because, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not quite to the stereotypical age of a Montana buyer. Folks like my parents who have, you know, gone through a little bit more in life, saved a little bit more, achieved a little bit more. You know, you're probably more the ones likely to take one of these home. I know that that's not always the rule, but that's likely. Um, but even at my age, man, I don't want to be cranking my neck around. You know, I've heard people say, son, you know, at your age, I'm, mm -mm, I don't want to be cranking my neck around either. I love this direct facing entertainment center. Now down below here, um, there's that kind of, uh, you know, deep smoky glass. That's where like your DVD Bluetooth unit is located, but your remote control can work through that glass. They did a good job of that because it hides that stuff, you know, while still making the RV look good. And I love the aesthetic symmetry of it right above that uh, 5120 BTU electric space heating fireplace. Now talking about heating, Montana's are and have been 0 to 100 degree rated since 2005 and counting, but they've actually only gotten better. In 2005, they barely kept their tanks from freezing. And now they do a very good job of it. 
So, you know, you've naturally got a really powerful propane furnace heating the RV. You've got that 5120 BTU electric space heating fireplace, but what you're not seeing is uh, something that I think is very valuable. This has a 16,500 BTU heat pump built into the central air system. And you're not seeing it because it's a whisper air system. And if you don't see the square, then you won't hear the air. It says dual 15,000 BTU air conditioners. Both are whisper ducted so that even in the bedroom, you'll get a quieter, more enjoyable sleeping experience. I don't mind a little rumble of an AC personally. I know some people really, really don't like it. So I just want to make sure you understand that Montana is a brand you'll sleep well in. Not to mention, you've got a bigger king bed up there to give you that space. That's a 12 volt fan also. I like to point out the difference there between a 110 fan like a residential fan and a 12 volt fan so that you know if you are going to be uh, you know off grid or something or just at a travel stop you can keep that air moving. Now down here is something I really appreciate because I spent a weekend on one and that is this tri-fold sleeper sofa. What I liked about it, it was a little bit wider than, than most and that gave my wife and I a little bit more room to kind of stretch out and really relax and uh, my wife and I were on the sleeper sofa. My daughter stayed on one of the um, uh, theater recliners right next to us. And the five of us, myself, my wife, my kid, and my parents, got through the weekend just fine. Now, so, an update since 2018 when we did that that I would really appreciate is both sides of the sofa now have both household and USB plugs. Whereas during that time, they had uh, household outlets only. The addition of extra USB plugs all over the place is something I really like because, uh, you know, I'm not I, I, I'm that typical tech addicted nerd, and you know I've got USB chargers for this, that, and every other thing. I have USB chargers for my USB chargers, so having those handy, it's not that I couldn't just go to Wally World or Amazon and and get some 110 to USB adapters. It's just that I didn't have to, and I really appreciate that. But over here is what I call the throne. The king and the queen are going to spend more of their time over here. And this is uh, power reclining, heat and massage with USB plugs inset uh, into the little armrests. And I've had somebody say, why do they put the uh, like USB plugs on the inside of that arm where uh, you know I, I could potentially hit the plug? Well, the short answer is because they never know where they're going to put this theater seat and they have to use the same theater seat in multiple places. So they can't put it on the outside of the arms, and if they put it on the front, then people would complain that they couldn't see the buttons. So there's no perfect solution here, but I think they did the best that they could. You might have noticed, and this has been around for nearly a year now, I think, Montana has gone completely carpetless in their slides. That is the same type of flooring material as something like a, a, a high-end pontoon boat. It is extremely resilient. You can scrub the life out of it and you're not going to damage it. So God forbid you're sitting over there in your dining area and you drop something. Eh, no big deal. Dry it up, wipe it up, whatever. You're going to be just fine. Uh, these are six and a half uh, foot tall walk-in slides, which is something that as a, a tall, clumsy individual, I certainly appreciate. I want to give you just kind of a panoramic look here before we zero in on the dining arrangement. Because if there's one thing Montana has long done better than anyone else, it is this little, what I like to call, diesel pusher dining situation. So first of all, most of the time there's probably just going to be one or two of you in the RV. So you don't always need the extra chairs out there in the way. And having a smaller table is nice because it makes for more walkthrough space. But that's not always going to be the case. Sometimes you will have some guests. And uh, you will see that this RV comes with a pair of these fold-away guest chairs. Now, I've intentionally got one set in the slide, uh, one set of legs in the slide, one set of legs out of the slide, so that you can see they're not going to sit there at some funky, weird angle, and your guest is going to be like, well, this is completely unusable. So when you're ready, you can fold that down. Everybody gets a nice, comfortable seat. I like how even the guest chairs have padded backs. That's just a nice little Montana doing Montana things detail that you know, it's easy for a lot of brands to miss. Now, you might have noticed that the table telescoped out. It's still a little bit short for four people, though, isn't it? It's great if there's two of you, or if, like, you're using this as an office desk space, especially when you consider you've got one of the multiple uh, pop-up power towers found throughout this RV located right here. Dual household, dual USB plugs. And by the way, down here, there's another little outlet. Right now, it's basically running the theater seat, but... 
it is pre-wired to the inverter prep of this RV, and that comes in handy if you choose to add an inverter or utilize one of two Montana solar packages, that inverter becomes a live powered outlet. There's actually four of those in here. Bedroom, kitchen, uh, theater seat, and oh, television are, are, would be at least the four on the basic solar package. And on the Superflex solar, well, that will power all of the outlets through the RV. It's, it's pretty cool. If you want in, more information on those, um, ask our team or uh, kind of search our channel because we have in-depth information on those things. Now remember just a second ago when I said that the table is still a little bit small for four people? That's because that was only stage one of two stage extensions. This opens right up to give you a large either dining or workspace. But what I love about it is the entire thing is what I call a no knee knocker. You see how there's no legs or pedestals or mechanisms falling down to bash you on the legs? And along with that, the way that they did this um, you don't have to strap the chairs down in transit because they have the handy little, what I call, chair buddy right here. And uh, that's your that's your little traveling chair buddy right there. I call him Terrence. Terrence the traveling chair buddy. That is uh, a new kid's show that'll be on, I don't know, PBS this fall on the 33rd of February, perhaps. It might come out on the 11th of October. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just not sure at this time. But my point is, you're not going to gash your knees all up on this thing, which is a welcome change for somebody like me. And just in case you were curious, this is how it works. There's a Gastra Easy Lift top to that table. And this uh, thing right here actually magnet catches out of the way. And then what you essentially have is basically some drawer runners. So these tuck out of the way. You can pull the top down and slide it away. But that does always leave a little storage pocket here, which depending on how you're using your RV, could have a number of different purposes. What I love is that they put it there and just didn't waste that opportunity. And then when you put everything away, you realize how big it got by how small it becomes when you do tuck everything away. It's pretty awesome. Now, taking a step back here, I want to start in the kitchen by taking a look at the island because I think it's one of the first things in the kitchen you see. You'll see solid surface counters all over the place, including uh, solid surface insets below that high-rise pull-down sprayer faucet. Now, they have double big sinks in here. The sink on the right is what you'd call a big sink in a travel trailer, and then they added a farm sink to the left of that. So, big pots, pans, just about anything you can imagine. This is capable of getting all of the work done. Now you can see the drawer over there, but full wide open storage below the island. And as we back up, you see an additional drawer right on the island, which is great, along with a dedicated wastebasket space. And both sides of the island have those handy uh, power outlets right there. So it's going to be something that is, uh, you know, just, th there's always easy reach appliance in, 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 uh, in reach, well, easy reach appliance in reach. Oh, not my, not my greatest work. But if you take a look over at that coffee bar, you see outlets over here on your uh, symmetrical cooking station, you've got dual pop-up power towers. So there's four sets of outlets and four USB plugs right there. There's just the power for hours in this thing. Ooh, I like that. That's, that was much better than than easy reach outlets that are easy to reach. <laughs> now if my camera work suddenly gets a little worse than usual, the RV is not level right now and I'm actually using one of my shoes to keep the pantry door open. So I'm walking super lopsided. So uh, appreciate the understanding. <laughs> and again, the symmetrical kitchen, you got the wine rack above, can, big convection microwave right there. And I love how, you know, oh, by the way, this is a big update. Now, I mentioned how this RV had day-night roller shades. That used to be a legacy Montana, the upgrade package only feature. Well, it's now on the standard Montana. Similarly, what used to be legacy Montana only, hardwood cabinet styles. This is not sticker-wrapped cabinetry. That is now a standard Montana feature. You'll also find that on things like a Pinnacle here at Halet RV. We already kind of mentioned it, but a, a better look at your kind of cooking prep space I like how there's, uh, you know, countertop area on both sides of that thing instead of just one or the other. There's actually an extra uh, light above that right-hand power tower that I apparently failed to turn on, so that's why one half is light and one half is dark. I'm just that good, it seems. We've already seen two drawers in the island, but we're going to see six more right here. This thing has drawers galore, basically. That's a larger 22-inch oven also. If you're going to do some serious baking in here, she's more than capable. 
Now here's that pantry I was telling you about. It does have motion lighting in it, so it'd be much brighter when you try to access it. I just haven't walked over there recently since I stuffed my shoe in the door to keep it open. And I call this the coffee bar because it is perfectly sized intentionally by Montana to fit a Keurig machine. I know that because when we did our family camping trip, that's where my parents put the Keurig and it fit fine. Although <laughs> for travel, make sure you take it off the countertop. They actually just had like a, a green plastic tote that they would put down on the floor right in front of it to keep that thing from bouncing, jouncing around. And you know what? It worked just like a champ. Now from there, we find ourselves in the hallway. And one of the first things you're going to see is the uh, central vacuum cleaner and what I like to call the electric dustpan. That is the little black rectangle at the bottom right there. It's handy so that you don't need to worry about, you know, uh, like digging out the entire pool cleaner kit, the, the hoses and stuff that come with this. There's motion sense lighting here, and you get to see my sock activate that. Because <laughs> one of my, I'm still, you know what, I'm taking off my other shoe. There we go. I'm, I'm shoeless Josh Jackson, the RV nerd. Anyway, I don't know. You get the idea. I'm walking around with no shoes. But if you're going to go up and down those steps at night, Kind of like I talked about all the indirect lighting. It's a nice way to not, you know, guess where you're stepping, but actually know where you're stepping. And a little place to hang your coats right when you walk in the door. But also, keeping all of our stuff like this away from the little kids, that is always a feature that I enjoy. Having that privatized docking center where the kiddos can't reach it. It's That's just simple, smart stuff. And it does give us a better chance to look at the beautiful hidden hinge cabinetry in the all hardwood cabinetry uh, of the uh, Montanas here at Haywood RV. And something I don't want to forget, Montana has also upgraded to all soft clothes cabinetry here, including their drawers. I just love watching those things work. That uh, is so cool. As we enter the bathroom, you may not be aware, uh, but Montana had decided uh, about a mid-season half-step generation ago to get rid of that pivot door. They have gone to a sliding pocket door. I didn't dislike the pivot door. It did make my job uh, with the camera a little bit tricky. But it's like, it's one of those things that when it first came out, people were like, ooh, it's new, it's nice. And then like, just over time, they kind of went, eh, I'm over it, you know? But Montana's been listening. Like, there's so many things in this, like the extended height upper deck, the six and a half foot tall upper deck, whether it's the shower, the bedroom, or anything. Um, the, uh, the indirect lighting reinstalled in the crown molding that once was there and then is gone and now is back. Montana listens. They have awesome, uh, you know, records for things like that. And this is an exceptionally what I call fluffy, friendly coach right here. All kinds of room for hips and shoulders around the uh, porcelain foot flush stool right there. Apologies for my footprints in the shower. You won't find those when you take the RV home, though, because one of the things that we do for you, Halet RV, among a myriad of things, is that we don't charge you to clean the RV before it goes home. We give everything a quick bath inside and out. Uh, you know, we, we, we try to do everything that you would possibly reasonably want and need to make sure that you can have a good camping experience when you leave Halet RV. Now you can see this is a one piece seamless molded shower enclosure. We saw uh, the height adjustable shower, uh, shower hardware already. We have a nice molded corner seat over here which is great. But what is also awesome is there is some excellent cabinet storage space in front of us. And as you can see, I obviously have good leg room because you can't even see my feet in the shot right now. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got a dad bod and I am not limber enough to do some kind of magic twist them up bathroom yoga. And the dedicated bathroom drawers like you're seeing right here, that's just the extra little touch details. It's something that if it, since it's here, you would likely not consciously register how handy they are. But if they weren't there, you would knock Montana for not having them. And even if they don't get a lot of fanfare and credit for the work they do, they still make sure they do it right. That's what I like about these. Guys. Like, you have a, a stainless uh, little inset sink right here with some good countertop space in the bathroom. Plenty of room. You see outlets on the right there, GFI protected for blow dryers and all those sorts of things. And I love how they just have this beautifully framed mirror on the wall with that medicine cabinet beside it. And it gets that big bulky object out of the way of your head. So like if you bend over to spit out your toothpaste or something like that, you're, you're not going to be clocking your noggin on this thing. It's just those little details. And remember I mentioned how that is a rain-sensoring fan, so you can keep the humidity really flushed out of here. 
In our bedroom up front here, I want to again mention how it is dual whisper air. They're using the Coleman Mach AC units and whisper ducting so that it is extremely quiet in here. Actually, it, it really impresses me. A lot of times I've been in a Montana with the whisper air running and the customer goes, oh, is that just the fan? No, that's the actual air compressor, everything running. It's just extremely quiet. Montana, um, for a few seasons, has been using a deeper bed slide on many of their models like this one to give you extra floor space. And with some recent changes to RV uh, code guidelines, you are seeing brands like our North Points and Montana's here at Halo RV also do something similar. So that's a 70 by 80 king bed upgrade. The queen is actually standard on here. But their king bed, because they build so many, they make sure you still have room to walk around it, which is really nice. You've got breeze through windows on both sides of the king bed, a nice padded headboard for a clumsy ox like me. <laughs> but, you know, I, I just have that knack. Of, I try, I don't try to be clumsy. I just hit stuff. I don't know what it is. You've got what I call the Cyclops window above. Pardon me, above. <laughs> Did my voice just crack like I'm 18 again? Good Lord, that's happened a lot lately. Anyway, that doesn't open for airflow, but it does provide some light if you want it to, or you can pull that privacy shade down. You've got fully mirrored sliding panel doors over there, which is really nice. Uh, and you can actually see, you know, big hanging closet. There's uh, the power outlets inside that closet. Not to mention, you have like, uh, like almost like dresser storage or shoe garage space in there. And uh, <laughs> if, if you're like, uh, my parents, you are going to use every bit of that shoe garage space. They they have a knack for just really packing that sucker up. And again, six and a half foot tall in here, so it's a full walk-in height. I love the angle of the entertainment so that even in the bedroom you've got a no-neck wrecker because Montana knows their customers. They know them well. And that TV in the bedroom is standard on these. It is uh, optional in a lot of different brands, but this is not one of them. But even here, you know, down below, a very uh, nicely sized dresser to really allow you to, if, you, if you're going to go full time and you're going to want to pack this sucker right up and they give you the space to do it. Cracking that open, you can see great storage there. A lot of, you know, individual personal items, socks, underwear, things like that. Hard top on that dresser, which is nice. Hard wood top, I guess I should say. Um, and then, of course, over here we have either just extra closet space and that is a good place to keep those uh, fold-away guest chairs. But that is stackable washer-dryer capable. And I like to stress the stackable part because it, you know, washer-dryer capability can sometimes vary by floor plan. So always good to know what you're getting into here. And that little laundry hamper in the closet, that's not a major thing, but it's a major thing. It's those little details that are going to separate brands A, B, and C and kind of determine how much you enjoy them long-term. And having that maximum possible storage below that easy lift plywood deck bed. That is something that you always appreciate where that's going to be useful. If you do go the route of washer dryer, you're going to need a place to put those chairs. Maybe you don't want to put them in the basement of your fifth wheel. You want to keep them in here where they're nice and dry and, you know, not going to get musty. <laughs> well, this is a perfect spot for something like that. And as long as I have the bed up, you know, you've got the power outlets on the uh, you know, inside the bed area, but you've also got outlets on the side. So if you do want to have like a standing fan or something like that, I mean, really, it doesn't matter what it is. Montana's got you covered. So let's get this all kind of closed up here so you can see her in travel mode and see what you can get to in, in that case. Now, bedroom, bathroom access in any fifth wheel like this, usually not a concern. I don't know that I've ever really shown the bedroom access or the bathroom access in transit, so I thought, eh, I'll just make a quick flyby with no slides in the way. The bathroom is the same bathroom that you saw just a minute ago. The question becomes what happens when we go downstairs, man. You know, you got these two big slides. You've got that island. What's going to go on here? And a couple years ago, Montana made some revisions to make sure you always have full refrigerator access right here even with the slide closed. Not just half, like all four doors of this big 18 cubic foot uh, fast cooling monster right here. You're going to be able to access that. But what's also nice is around the corner, they still leave you a little spot uh, where if you needed to sit down, grab a quick bite to eat, you could. I don't, I don't think you're going to squeeze two chairs in here to do it. But, you know, if one person has to sit down, I don't mind standing to eat a sandwich real quick for transit. But the fact is, if you need to get in here and pack up your cold stuff real quick before you leave or make a quick travel stop, grab a bite to eat, and then sleep in a parking lot overnight on the way to your destination, this one's very capable. 
stepping outside, quick housekeeping note. Remember, we are looking at the optional slide awnings right there. Not every 3120 Montana we bring in will have those. Sometimes we'll bring them in without. Some folks like them, some don't. Montanas are popular enough. We sell enough. We can build them multiple ways for multiple folks. No sweat. Now back over to the entry door. It's a nice wide 30 inch door, which is great, but it's also six and a half foot tall, just like the slide out. So it's a residential height door, which you don't always find out there. You can see they're also using the nice zero G Moride stable steps. At least that's my name for them based on the uh, Moride also makes those zero G toy hauler gates because they got that handy dandy little easy lift and lower strut. So it doesn't fall on you and you know, blow your rotator cuff or crush your poodle or I don't know. You get the idea. It's easy. That's what I'm getting at. Now it's easy to miss. <laughs> Speaking of easy, unintentional segue. Over here, we've got a handy little propane uh, hookup. So if you have a grill, a griddle, a whatever, you got a perfect little grilling spot right here where you can still be under one of the two power awnings and enjoy yourself. Uh, the uh, magnet holdbacks get that big baggage door out of the way to get you over here to that drop frame storage compartment. And you can see there's actually heat ducting directly down into this compartment. And you're looking over here usually like, where's my lighting? Well, they put the lighting up here and that way it's just, it's up, it's out of the way and it'll cast light down onto your cargo where you need it. You can also see the uh, central vacuum collection point, some outside TV hookups there, all the stuff you expect. Now here in the Midwest where we don't get crazy daisy winds, the magnet holdbacks are gonna be just fine. You know, those double slam latches, magnet catches work great. If you're in a high windy zone though, they do pre-prep this door if you wanna add a gas strut, which is just, Montana doing Montana things. It's They always have these nice touches. As I mentioned, this is a dual power awning model. So you have awesome patio coverage on this thing. It is just fantastic in that regard. Um, the new updated exterior on here, that kind of like charcoal accent going on, a little touch of you know blue sky scene in this thing. It looks like it's moving fast when it's sitting still. I like it. I, I, I like just a little touch. This is roughly what high countries looked like last year. I like the little update that they put into it though. Um, while we're uh, moseying around the front here, I want to start by taking a look at the Road Armor pin box. That and the Road Armor suspension system work together fantastically. Actually, uh, Mr. Halet has owned multiple, multiple different big fifth wheels, Travel Supremes, Jayco's, all kinds of things over the years, and he still constantly rants and raves about how nicely and uh, and easily his 3120 Montana toes. He is such a huge fan of them. And it's the combination of that 35 foot mark and the suspension and pin box that helped make it all happen. And you see the little perforated punch outs in here. This RV that we're looking at is not built with generator prep. However, that is an available option, and in fact, a full factory generator install are things that are available on a Montana here at Halet RV. However, here at Halet's, we have a secret weapon. Because we are built, or I'm sorry, <laughs> not built, because we are located so close to where these RVs are built, we are also located very close to the factory suppliers. Specifically, Onan, the largest supplier of generators to the RV industry. They're just down the road for us, basically. And if we have an RV here that doesn't have a generator in it, or actually isn't even generator prepped from the factory. We can send it right down the street to Onan and have a full Onan factory install, gen prep generator, whole shebang. And they stand behind the work. It comes with their own Onan warranty factory guarantee, basically. So it doesn't really matter if something's gen prepped or not. If I have it in stock, give us a call. We can get you the quote with it either way. That's one of the nice advantages of working with Halet RV. Now you see the fully enclosed protected heated docking center. Montana's are and have been like zero degree rated since 2005 and counting. So that's, that's everyone else has only caught up to what Montana's been doing for years, but they're still doing some really good little touches like this, like the little sewer hose caddy. Cause you don't want your black tank stuff mixing in with your fresh water stuff. Well, now you don't have to worry about it. And they've actually changed their underbelly enclosure material here. Instead of just like um, a, a, a polypropylene under, you know, skin basically, um, which effectively looks like cardboard made out of plastic. This is like uh, a layered plastic bubble wrap looking material that has all these little thermal kind of pockets in it to help prevent heat loss and exchange. So the underbelly is enclosed heated, insulated, radiant barriered, and has 12 volt tank heaters. And now even the underbelly skin itself is helping maintain the hot, cold climate capability of this here Montana. Pretty darn cool. 
Now on the back side here, she's camera ready of course. Uh, this actually is both rear and side mount camera pre-prepped, which is cool. Um, and those are accessories that if you're looking for those, give us a call. We can, uh, you know, get those all quoted out for you here at Halo RV. Our parts and service center tends to keep that stuff in stock at all times, uh, you know, provided the suppliers can get it to us. The uh, taillights here though, you see those white sections in the taillights. These are reverse lights. Uh, it's not a full, like, smart system like Jayco has with their signals markers and reverse travel J smart system. It's just reverse travel, but it's still pretty nice being able to hit reverse. And frankly, sometimes like if you're in a, a parking lot and some idiot parks in front of you, cause they don't realize that, you know, a 35 foot fifth wheel and a big long bed truck can't turn on a dime. It's nice to let them know, Hey boys, I'm backing up. You might want to get out of the way. And Hey, most of the time they will. Um, it kind of reminds me of that movie, Fried Green Tomatoes, where that lady just goes, bottom line is I'm older and I got better insurance. <laughs> now, for a couple seasons, Montana had a two-inch receiver hitch on the back for accessories. Um, but if you notice, they are now including a four-way wiring harness as well as the safety chain hooks so that you actually do now have a 3,000-pound uh, rated towing hitch factory towing hitch installed right here so if you got a little you know a little boat something like that you want to bring along montana is capable of doing all those things without voiding the industry's best three-year structural coverage because if you look at what montana covers they do seem to cover just about as much or if not more so than anybody else offering similar coverage now remember all those glorious windows over here on the campsite of the rv overlooking your campsite not just the neighbors. That's that's what's kind of cool because if your your windows are only on the driver's side of the RV, then chances are you're gonna have to look like you know a shirtless guy like Uncle Josh, your RV nerd over here. And whew, even I don't want to see that in the mirror. I turn the lights off when I get out of the shower. Good lord! Now they do go with a white roof to help keep the sunshine out of this thing. It is attic vented to help exhaust heat that you know builds up between the ceiling panels and the exterior roof decking. Of course, you can walk all over here. Montana's actually have walkable slides. Uh, which is something cougars do as well. Um, what is neat up here though, is Montana has two different factory solar packages. One is 300 watts, one is 1200 watts. If you want more information on those, we're always more than happy to dive into that for you and get some details here at Halet RV. But the standard series Montana's here, we like to have kind of with a more basic roof setup, although you maintain that roof solar prep, that uh, Jaboni plug right there, next to your Weingard Air 360 uh, antenna system. But beyond that, you know, if you're looking for little accessories, like you want to add some Max Air vent covers or anything like that, you give us a call at that shop over there at Halet RV. We can get all that stuff figured out for you if you, if you want it lumped into your financing or whatever. That's, that's easy stuff, ladies and gentlemen. That is the kind of stuff we can do for you. Lickety split, no sweat. You know, if you, you need more information, because I've tried to just give you like a good general outline of what you're looking at here today, give our team a call. Again, we're happy to dive into that stuff for you. We want to earn your business, and we're willing to go to the links that is required to do that. You know, if we need to put in some extra sweat equity, you give us the opportunity in return for our efforts here today, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. So as always, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo Camping, everyone. Remember... We do everything except hidden dealer fees. We'll we'll leave those to the big box stores. <laughs>